Hey, it's good to see you. Today I am in a parking lot. It's a big parking lot. And I'm waiting for something that you might not expect. I'm sitting here waiting for Mike's vegan cookout truck. It's supposed to be here today at 12. I'm a little early. I've heard that you want to get here earlier. You'll get stuck in a long line waiting to order. I've seen this truck here before and I've heard so many good things about it. Now I'm not, I'm not vegan, um, but I just, I wanted to try it because I've heard from a couple of people that I know who are vegan who said, you, I know you're not, but you got to try it. Well, I've tried vegan food before. Some of it is actually pretty good, but I'll be honest. I have never tried vegan meat that I thought was good. I, I just never have. And from what I hear, they say, I get it. I hear you, but you got to try Mike's vegan cookout. So apparently this, this, uh, they have a following, like people will follow their truck around and they're supposed to be here today at noon in this parking lot. I am in the parking lot of a store and it's called Con's Home Plus. Now, I wouldn't personally name my store that, you know, another con job. I mean, why would you call it? It's probably a family name. I get it. But I wouldn't call my store cons. It just sounds like you're going to con somebody. Anyway, we are on High Point Road. They changed the name to Gate City. I don't know. What was it? Two years ago? Three years ago? But to me, for the last 25 years, it's been High Point Road. So it's still High Point Road as far as I'm concerned. There's another thing set up over here where I, I guess I could show you. It's about a thousand degrees outside. That's why I'm sitting in my car. I'm going to show you what now I'm not going to this. I'm going to Mike's vegan cookout, but the, there's this little thing set up over here. It's insane. While we're waiting, we'll go look at it. Of course, like I said, over there we've got cons. Cons. I've never bought anything there. I don't I don't know. They sell mattresses, appliances, furniture. I don't know what all. But then over here we've got Belly Full. Belly Full, they sell funnel cakes, fried Oreos. My God, I'm not interested in that. We're at the intersection over here. This is this right here is High Point Road. It's now called Gate City Boulevard. There's a McDonald's over there that's always hiring, so if you need a job, you can get one there. Um, there's a Krispy Kreme down there. And right there is Holden Road. We're at the corner of High Point Road and Holden Road. And across the street, you can't really see it, but there's a little baby Walmart over there. It's a Walmart neighborhood market. That's a noisy truck. But there's a neighborhood market over there. It's like a tiny Walmart. And there's a Wells Fargo. It's fascinating. But look, I like their van. It's actually pretty spiffy. Lemonade, kettle corn, deep fried Oreos, funnel cakes. It's like a festival over here. They have all different flavors of lemonade. Wow. So it's super duper hot here. I think I'm gonna go park in the shade. There's some trees over there. I'm gonna go park in the shade and we're gonna wait for Mike's vegan cookout to get here. Oh no, I just spotted a terrible thing. Okay, that can't be good. Well, shoot, if they're getting towed, that's probably a bad thing. <laughs> I'm thinking that's not typically how they arrive here. Oh crap, oh crap. Well, there's Mike's Vegan Cookout. That's their truck. It's, where are they going? It's green and black. I think that person was waiting for the, oh shoot. I think they were waiting for the truck. What are they doing over there? See the car's following them. Like the Pied Piper, the Vegan Pied Piper has lured in a Camry. I wonder if they're still gonna serve if their truck is busted. Yeah, that's what that little car's doing. 
they're here waiting for the truck. Dang. Well, I may not get anything today. That's a bummer. Oh, is the, ca the Camry's leaving? Yeah. Well, are they leaving? What are they doing? Nope, looks like they're parking in the shade. I was just about to go pull over there myself. Guess I'm not gonna get that spot. Well, okay. I'm gonna hang out here and see what happens. Um, if they set up and serve, we'll go ahead and get something for sure. Um, if not, then I guess I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to try it another day, I guess. Okay, this doesn't have anything to do with anything, but I just pulled up here into this spot. I'm still waiting. There's, that's Jeff Goldblum. I'm still waiting to see what the, what that's gonna happen with the truck, but I just pulled in front of this vehicle. <laughs> the back of it says, <laughs> it says, powered by bitch dust. <laughs> oh my God, I want that sticker. That is hilarious. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to waiting now. Oh, it looks like it's it looks like it's it's backing up. I think they got it fixed. They've been over there working on it for the last 15 minutes or so. I've just been kind of watching this whole thing unfold, this whole saga here. Yeah, it looks like it. I, I don't know what was wrong with it, but it looks like it's uh looks like it's working. Yay! I waved at him. Hey! That's cool. Okay. Uh, I think they're going over to their regular spot. Where are you going? Damn, where is he going? The Camry's pulling up over here. Donna. 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 <laughs> ah! Where'd he... What's he doing? That Camry is just creeping up over here next to me. What's he doing? My mouth is far away from the phone right now. There's another car. Come back, come back. Where are you going, dude? Okay, I don't know. Look, here comes the Camry. I'm coming, my love. <laughs> ah, there's another one. God, they're swarming in here like mosquitoes. Okay. Yeah, totally. I think I think they're actually gonna park over there. So I gotta move again. <laughs> and I better hurry up because people are already like, feed me. It must, it must be super good. Yeah, so I guess I'm going over there. Okay, so we're just waiting actually. Um, they're going to be ready at about 12.30. I probably have about 30 people in line behind me right now. So it's really great. I think this is going to be really good. There are a bunch of people pulling into the parking lot right now. So this is going to be fun, I think. Look, the tow truck's coming back. That's a big-ass tow truck. Of course, to tow something like that, it has to be. I wonder why they're back. I guess he's coming to check and see if it's all right. Yeah, maybe he's heading out. I don't know. I just thought that was interesting. So I just placed my order. Look at what somebody did on the sidewalk over here. This is right in front of Colin. <laughs> what in the hell? Now how bored are you to come out here to this parking lot, drive up on the sidewalk, and do that? Like, my God. Whew. Now let me tell you, it is some kind of hot outside. Um, we had to wait a little bit. Um, they didn't open up and start taking orders until about 1245 or so because the truck had broken down so they were having to do some stuff. They weren't quite ready yet. I had put my hair up. I couldn't stand it. I'm sweaty. Um, yeah, so fortunately I was near the beginning of the line because I'm looking at the line now. There are probably 50 people in line right now. So I'm really glad I got here when I did. Um, I got a Coke Zero. 
because I, I don't like regular Coke, which is kind of funny because we're actually going to be making um, a cake one day this week, hopefully, that has Coca-Cola in it, like regular Coke. But the recipe calls for that, so that's what we're going to put in it. It's crazy. There's this long line for the vegan truck. And over here at the deep-fried Oreos, there's no waiting. There's, I feel bad for them. There's nobody over there. I feel like I should go get a funnel cake or something. I don't know, a bag of popcorn. I feel bad. <laughs> oh, somebody just pulled up. Cool. All right. So, I have to say, it smells really good over there at the truck. And look. Now, I figured, look at this cool, look at this neat box. I like it. <laughs> neat. Um, I have to say it smells really good. Um, I figured if I'm going to be eating vegan food, I need to go all the way. I need to get a vegan burger. You know, I'm not going to mess around with chicken or hot dogs. I'm going to get a burger because I love burgers, but I've cut way back on my red meat. I'm trying not to eat so much of that kind of stuff. Um, now I will say I have had vegan burgers before. I had one in a restaurant one time. It was like a black bean burger or something. It was okay, but it just tasted like a bean patty. It didn't taste like a burger at all. And I've had a couple of other brands of burgers. I wasn't a big fan, honestly. Quite frankly, most, to me, most vegan meat products, taste they taste like ground up rubber bands pressed together with seasoning. They're just not good. Um, but this, I'm gonna tell you, right now this smells really really good so I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna see what we got here now I did get some fries now I will tell you one thing about Mike's vegan cookout everything is vegan the bun the cheese the dressings whatever is in it or on it all of it is vegan and they have a huge fan base I got a bunch of fries in here little crinkle fries mmm that seasoning is good I have the air conditioner on I'm sorry the noise is bothering you but I didn't want to take this home and try to eat it there by the time I get home it's gonna be cold so oh, I got some napkins here we go. And I got some ketchup. I don't put ketchup on my fries. I forgot to mention this in the Biscuit King video. I don't really like putting anything on my fries usually, like ketchup or anything like that. I just don't. I, I want to be able to taste the fry. And I just to me, it seems like when you put ketchup on it, you can't really taste it that much. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. The fries are good. I like the fries. Okay, I don't see this thing. Good God. It's huge. Wow. It's heavy. It's very hot. It's hot and heavy. Okay. That line, I'm just looking at the line at the truck. It just gets longer and longer. Did I open it upside down? No, I don't believe it. Oh my Lord, that smells good. Look, ooh, that's a messy burger, too. Go. Oh. Here's a little piece of the meat. Holy crap, that tastes like meat. I'm just eating the pieces that are falling off. Um, let me set this down. Wow, I'm gonna need a napkin or a tarp or something, okay. I'm gonna need to hose myself down this time I got done. Now, this burger, I believe it has, this is the Carolina burger. I got the Carolina burger. It looks like it has cheese on it, slaw, onions, and I don't, I don't know what all, I forget what all was on it. I just got it the way it came. It's dripping, and oh, it has a special sauce on it. Oh my God. What kind of voodoo magic is that? Dang, that tastes like a burger. 
That is crazy. Look, I don't know if you can see it. That tastes exactly like a burger. It's dripping. That's the sign of a good burger though. If it drips like that, that's a good burger. If it makes a mess, that's it. Mmm. Okay. I get it now. I know why there's so many people here. Vegan or not, this is one of the best hamburgers I've ever had. Cheeseburger, whatever. Burger. There's no real cheese. The cheese is vegan. The bread is vegan. The bread is delicious. It's kind of sweet. It's almost like a Hawaiian roll. It's fabulous. The slaw is vegan. Everything about it is... This is outstanding. Okay, I see why they have a following. That's one of the best cheeseburgers I've ever had in my life. And I've had cheeseburgers all over the place. The sauce kind of tastes like... I want to say it's kind of like the sauce at, what is it, on the Big Mac, McDonald's, secret sauce or whatever. It tastes a little bit like that. Which I think, I think that McDonald's seasoned secret sauce, I think it's basically just ketchup and mayonnaise and maybe something else. There's nothing really secret about it. I'm sure you could Google it and find it in about two seconds. Now here's, wow, that cheese is good. I've tried vegan cheese and I was not impressed. It was kind of rubbery. This cheese melts like real cheese. There's some here on the paper. It tastes like sharp cheddar cheese. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mmm. Y'all, seriously. This is out of this world. I have never. I just want to go be alone with this thing so I can eat it properly. Mmm. Okay, this is better than what I ate the other day. Biscuit King. That's ten times better than that. And I've never said that about vegan food in my life. Now, they do have other food here. They have chicken sandwiches. You know, not real chicken, obviously. Um, hot dogs. Um, I forget what else they have. But they, they have several kinds of burgers. They have several kinds of chicken. You know, not real chicken. It's like C-H-I... K apostrophe N. I think it's how it's worded on the menu. Because it's not actually chicken. My God. Mmm. Look, look at that. Dude. Wow. This was worth the wait. This was worth the wait. Absolutely. And that line's not getting shorter. Even more and more people are coming up. I'm surrounded by Subarus. <laughs> I, all the Subarus in Greensboro have come out of hiding and they're all here waiting for <laughs> some food. <laughs> hmm. I swear. Oh, it's falling apart on me. Hold on. It's dripping all over. That's okay though. That means it's good. That is so incredibly good. I just can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got sauce all over me. I cannot get over how good this is. Oh my God. I wouldn't believe you if you told me this was not a burger, like a hamburger. I'd sit here and say, yes, it is. Of course it is. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got to come back again and try some of the other stuff. They had, I think they have chili fries or something. I bet that's good.
Okay, it has diced onions on it, vegan slaw, vegan cheese. Mmm. I can see why these trucks are so popular. I know I keep saying that, but I keep hearing people rant and rave about how, you know, just, oh my gosh, it's so good. You got to try it. You've got, I'm going, I'm not vegan. I know, I know, but you got to try it. You won't believe how good it is. I'm sitting here curling at my nose. I told my kids I was coming here. I said, do y'all want anything? Do you want to come with me and go get something from Mike's Vegan Cookout? They both said, what? I said, Mike's Vegan Cookout. My older son said, you're going to go get vegan food on purpose? I said, yeah. I heard it's good. He was like, I'll pass. Mmm. They're missing out. Wow. This is the perfect substitute for red meat. Oh my lord. Everybody's just eating in their car. <laughs> and a friend of mine is vegetarian. And um her daughter, one of her daughters is vegan. And she said the last time they came here they stood in line for forty five minutes waiting to order. She said it was worth every bit of it. I'm going really. Is it really that good? She said, oh yeah. Now she likes their hot dogs. She gets, um, what'd you say? A slaw dog. Like it's a vegan hot dog, vegan bun, vegan slaw. And she said that's her favorite thing to get here. Man, that Carolina burger, I ate that whole thing. I ate that whole dang thing. Look at all that mess. <laughs> See, I would never have expected that much of a delicious, beautiful mess from a vegan burger. Dang, I'm gonna tell you something. Vegan food has come a long way. It definitely has. Now, I understand that doesn't mean it's health food. I get that. I know you shouldn't help food. And I don't want to get into a whole big argument about to eat meat or not eat meat. You do you, do you okay? I'm not going to argue about it. I'm just going to revel in the fact that I just found what I think is my new favorite place to eat. <laughs> that vegan food truck. Oh, I'm going to be back. Mmm. I want to try the chicken. I want to try the hot dogs. I'm going to try it all. So, I think they're here on Thursdays and Sundays. I think it's on, they have a Facebook page, Mike's Vegan Cookout. If you're not in Greensboro, don't worry. Um, they go to other places too. I think they go to Concord. I can't remember where else. They're not just here. They go all over the place. They're not based here. They're not from Greensboro. I don't I think they're from Raleigh or something, but I could be wrong about that. Wow. I mean, dang. I'm just staring at the truck in disbelief. Like I just, my mind, my mind, my mind, bleh. my mind can't process that. My brain is going. We just ate a hamburger, and I'm sitting here. No, we didn't. And I'm, I'm getting like an error. Like, that was a burger. That was a hamburger. That's what that was. Mm. Best vegan food I ever had in my life. But that's not saying a whole lot because up to this point I have not been impressed with vegan food. Just being honest. It just to me it just tastes rubbery and just kind of not great. I think there's a vegan restaurant in Greensboro somewhere, like downtown. 
I haven't tried it. I should try that. Hmm. I can't eat all these fries. They gave me a bunch of fries. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, I have to tell you about Clark. I don't know if you heard about... Somebody around my house has this cat. It's this cat with no tail. I don't know his name. He wears a collar. But, and it has... You know, I haven't really looked at it too closely. I don't know his name. He's super friendly, most laid back cat. I've decided to name him Clark. He just looks like a Clark. Uh, Evie has taken to beating him, well not beating him up, but yelling, basically yelling at him. Every time, he likes to lay under the my neighbor's car, like the, they'll park in the driveway and he'll just go lay under the car. You know, it's hot, he'll get under there. Evie, well, Evie will just walk over there to him and just start yelling at him. She'll just start yelling at him. Like, why are you, what are you doing? And I'll hear her out there screaming at him. And I'll go, and I'll go out there and I have to run her off. And Clark is just under the car. He's not doing anything. He's not provoking her. He's just laying under the car. And, you know, I'll go out there and I'll, I apologize to Clark. I say, I'm sorry, Clark. I, I'm sorry. She's such a butthole. And he looks at me like, meh. No big deal. And he just goes back to sleep. He doesn't care. He's the most laid back cat. I was getting ready. I went to an exercise class this morning. I've already done that. It was super humid. And I went home. I took a shower. And got all de yucky fied And came out here in time to get my, my lunch. When I left this morning, Clark was under my car. And I said, Clark, darling, you got to get out from under my car. And at first he kind of skittered off and he went off into the grass. And I said, come here, Clark, it's okay. And here you can see what he looked like in, in the neighbor's yard. He was looking at me. I don't think he was too sure of my intentions at first. Um, but then he approached me and he just kind of flopped on his back. You know, you can see how vicious he is. He's so scary. I can see why Evie feels the need to run him off every day he's he's terrifying so mean <laughs> i know it's territory i know cats are territorial i get it but he never fights back the most he'll do is go uh stop and he just literally is just like stop because she'll start swatting at him and he'll go stop <laughs> that's all he'll do and I think Evie has gotten really bold and now she's become a bully because she knows she won't fight back. So she goes over there and acts all big and bad. <laughs> she's such a jerk. Hmm. <laughs> I can't eat all these fries. I got a bunch of fries. I really like the box too. Mike's Vegan. Vegan Culture Cookout. These are neat boxes. I really like the box. Wow. I, I have no words. I have been rendered speechless. That doesn't happen much. I know it seems like I'm impressed with everything I eat. That, though, that was spectacular. This was spectacular. If you ever see Mike's Vegan Cookout truck, if you're in the area and you see it, Wait in that line. There is a reason why there's a long line. Wait in the line, you will not be sorry. So we're gonna come back again and we're gonna try some other stuff. We'll try the chicken. We'll try a hot dog or two. Man, we're gonna do it. Well, thank you so much for watching. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I'm so glad I came over here and I'm so glad I waited. And I'm glad their truck is running now. The tow truck's gone. The truck is fixed. I don't know what was wrong with it, but it seems to be fine now. So that's awesome. That's really good. And thank you again for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you again soon.